Hello, 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 and welcome to episode 236 of Prog Review. And if you can't read the title or description, I'm talking about Other World by Peter Hamill and Gary Lucas. Um, I got the vinyl. Look, oh, look, there's a gatefold. Look at that. Look, oh, see, there's the back. I should open that up. See what's inside. Oh, look, look, orange. Very, very orange. Very nice. Um, yeah, it's a collaboration between Gary Lucas. Gary Lucas is a guitarist who's played with many, many, many people. Too many to list, but Captain Beefheart, Lou Reed, John Cale, Jeff Buckley, to name but a few. But he's played with lots of different people. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, it was a didn't know what to expect of the record, but um, my initial thoughts was it reminded me very much of um, Hamill's earlier works, the late seventies. You know, his more experimental things, uh, PH Seven, uh, Black Box, around that period. Um, so everything on the album is just guitar and voice. Uh, Hamill plays guitar, Gary Lucas. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm going to get his name wrong. Is <laughs> um, predominantly uh, the guitarist of the of the record, and um, you get the usual Pete Hamill vocals. The you know, you know. So so if you're expecting that, yeah, you get that in spades of Kith and Kin. Very similar to something you'd hear off of uh, Fire Ships, I think. Um, but you also get some really nice pieces that are kind of sport. Um, I don't know if it's a, a spelling mistake. I don't know if it's meant to be altar of roses or this atta of roses is a is an interesting ambient piece. But you get a lot of um, experimental guitar noise on here as well, and some of that I, I didn't much care for. They're very scratchy. You know, <laughs> didn't really appeal to me. Um, you either do a wholly experimental album, or you stay within the, you know, songwriting milieu. I think it wanted. It, it's very ambitious. I think it wanted to appeal to to both markets, but it's very difficult because I'm looking. It's released on Esoteric. I was just going to say it's a very esoteric um, uh, album. Um, but it's refreshing because you don't get albums that are this far out. Yeah, you get you get bands that say that they're prog and lyrics, but this truly is experimental. And it's not going to be, you know, if you're not a Peter Hamill fan, you're not necessarily going to like some of this record. Though it is good to hear him playing against someone else. Um, some of the <clears throat> some of the guitar um, soundscapes that um, Lucas provides are really really good and really nice um would have kind of liked to have heard like an an instrumental mix you know i would like to have heard more of of lucas you know maybe there could have been a um a second disc where you know his soundtrack soundtracks are, are, are you know are more evident uh, and you also get like i said this very experimental you know where they use delay and distortion or whatever on the guitars which is kind of gets in the way of the songs but um the songs themselves again again it's probably because i've heard too many peter hamill albums they're very very much more of the same uh spinning coins um i kind of enjoyed um trying to think <laughs> the rest of them just kind of passed over me which is a which is a great shame uh, and it is very, it is a very stark, very sparse record because you know you do only have these two, two guitars and the voice. Um, so yeah, I mean, not not much of a review, not much of a review. My God, it's terrible, terrible cold at the moment. So, um, but I mean, you know, I wouldn't go recommending it if you're not a Peter Hamill fan. If you're, um, you know, if you're new <laughs> to his work. I wouldn't buy this, but if you're into something that's experimental and a bit different, then you know, pick it up. It's, you know, it's certainly, 
it's certainly different enough to warrant uh, uh, the progressive um, tag. So yeah, that's uh, that's good. But um, mm, when it comes to a, when it comes to a, a writing. Oh, it's interesting. Just, uh, just noticed the um, the the LP version has one, two, two, two. Just trying to figure out. It's fourteen. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are four extra tracks on the CD version. I feel a little bit ripped off because you only get ten tracks on the LP. Um. Mm, that gives my review something completely different to think about, and I should have, I should have noticed that. Not that I've got the CD, I've got the LP, and I. But anyway, so yeah, don't buy the LP. You're missing four extra tracks. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is up to my usual quality, isn't it? Yeah. This is this is why you tune in. Oh goodness. In I'm going to give this three spinning coins out of five. And that's because it's good to hear an experimental album. It's good to hear something a little bit out there. So that's nice. But a little bit samey in places. And um, in some of the uh, you know experimental guitar bits are just noise. I'm not a big fan of noise as music, you know. Unless it's got some kind of harmonic resonance to it, um, so that's why it's got some bits. You know, aren't we clever? Look, we can make a noise. Um, so yeah, that's why you're only getting three spinning coins out of five. Um, could be a grower. Could be a grower. Might go back to it. Give it another go. But I did enjoy Gary Lucas's input. I thought it was very interesting. And I think, I think if they did a um, another album. Because is, I think the idea is that they met in the studio and they just you know, bounced some ideas off of each other and recorded it. But if they actually sat down and worked on some formal, you know, constructed pieces, I think there'd be a really good team here. I think it'd be a very interesting team. You know, but keep Hammer off the guitar, back on the keys, and Lucas doing the guitars. Maybe get some drums in, and I think that would be. That could they could be onto something there? I think they could really be onto something because, you know, Gary Lucas's soundscapes and guitar work does complement Hamill's voice. So that that is that is a, a bonus to the um, to the review. Anyway, my name's been Darren Lock. I've been wittering on in my usual wittery <laughs> style. It's the drugs. The drugs don't work. Well, the paracetamols don't work anyway. Uh, and this is other world by Peter Howell and Gary Lucas. I think that's right. Uh, it was released earlier this year. Do check it out. Uh, it won't be for every, everyone, but um, it will certainly give you something to think about. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Gary Lucas, he, he, he appears to be everywhere, so that's that. My name's been Darren Locke. You've been watching me. Da -da 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 -da. Social media, thumbs up, thumbs down, da da da, -da Google, Twitface, da 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 da. And one more thing to say, prog on! <laughs>